and we'll come back to Plasma. There are some more changes than uh, the last video that I've uh, posted and there is a particular change about well when you actually reboot let's start with rebooting completely the thing is it's not a very major update but it is an update when you boot up into um, into virtual box you'll see that now this text is readable sometimes it cuts it off because of the text being too long so now we've given it a little bit more width in that case you can actually read and it doesn't it cut it off so that's the first change that you'll see coming on of coming in when you update your system but then this is for virtualbox only right this is the second change in plasma of course plasma has this kind of login screen it's just a specific one for this because of the fact well that plasma is a little bit different than the others and this has the arc theme so, okay, nice. We have a new login screen. Maybe you skip the login screen and you don't see it at all. But that was also changed and I just wanted to tell you that. What you'll see as well, and you'll have to take my word for it, that there is a lot of changes in here that we have set. So, first of all, the Serdi icons have been changed. Um, what else has been changed? We have Numix uh, theme added as well. And I'm thinking about not going into detail about the other videos. So there are actually these two, two videos a little bit linked together. So Plasma theme uh, set to breeze, fine cursor is black. Splash screen is now set to none, which will boot up. The boot up time will be shorter since the animation is not necessary and all that. So it skips it. Colors is just breeze, fonts are set, not all suns. Icons are set to Saturday Arc, everything normal. This is also new, that's right, I forgot to tell that in the other video. So we've set the GTK application theme Breeze Breeze, fine, but also Breeze and Saturday Arc and Saturday. So that's also uh, special. The things that we've changed in the other video is also the desktop effects. So you can see them here. We saw in the other video the technical files where it is. But it's here, the desktop cube is here, uh, the wobbly windows are somewhere up there. But remind you, this is this is a virtual box. So it's a bit tricky, you have to know it. Exclude desktop effects, exclude internal. So if you are a virtual box, sorry guys, you have to put it on the real thing, SSD of course. And then you'll have all the fun. Um, what else? Virtual desktops here, two desktops here, two desktops there. Result is having this thing here. And, if, and we have fade desktop instead of slide or desktop cube. So fade desktop as a choice. Shortcuts, a bunch of shortcuts. You've seen the file, but I also showed you where it is in here. This is reachable with Ctrl Alt M. And there are a lot of, lots of other things you should take a look at. Let's maybe include this in this video, system settings, is Ctrl Alt M. K sysguard, have a look. Trigger is Ctrl Shift Escape. What is this? Oh yeah, system monitor, K sysguard. And in this way you try to learn and shut down this fact, something very specific indeed. QD bus org, etc. Right? Super X. We all know the shortcut in any of our des desktops. Well, this is now the code. To shut down our system KDE plasma meta tape chromium something special Pamac we've shown in the other video Ctrl Alt P and then Turner H top for the lovers of H top here super H so stuff is in here go try it out start up and shut down I hated the fact that we had uh, Previous session was restored, so every window that was open was restored in that next boot. So no, no, no. Start with an empty session. So if you would like that, the restore previous, just click apply and done. And that's it, I think. Yeah, that's it. So these changes have been made to your system, to Plasma. So, um, well, you see the wobbly is not working. I missed it already from VirtualBox. I really missed it. 
So it's in the system now, it's in the configuration file. And um, well, let uh, look at that. Yes, that's Discord. So this is an, an application um, that you can install in your system and you can chat with us. And we always see, of course, if you're behind the computer, we can see what's posted and we can respond immediately. All right, have fun with Plasma. It deserves your attention, a beautiful desktop. Cheers.